what's going on y'all what's going on what's going on listen i'm back with yet another video for those of you who are already subscribed you already know what it is for those of you who are tuning in for the first time welcome for those of you who have recently subscribed and joined the yanny squad welcome back i appreciate you what you can find here are talks about maca maca root extract to be exact how to gain slash maintain weight product reviews skincare hacks my skincare journey the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, Kojic, Kojic Acid Soap, How to Grow Longer Hair, specifically 4C Hair, Protective Styles for 4C Hair, much more. Just how to glow the heck up in general. Motivational words, let's go. Tap, tap, tap in, and let's get into it. I just want to ask this one question. Why are you running? Why are you running? Are you running back to that person who has belittled you? made you feel as though you are nothing and that you are worth nothing? Are you running back to the squad that was doing nothing all day, sitting down smoking all day, spending their last $5 on the puff puff, not moving forward, not really wanting you to move forward, always inviting you to sit around and do nothing at all? Are you running towards your goals, success, achievement, prosperity? Are you stagnant? Are you living in a situation in which you feel like you're not even running at all? Or should I say, are you running forward or are you running backwards? These are just some things to think about food for thought. And it's not an attack on anyone. Everything that I've come to you with, either I can ask myself the same questions, I can literally speak from past experiences, from things that or from the perspective that I know loved ones, I have friends who have gone through this very thing. And the thing is that you cannot save everyone. You cannot help everyone. You can lead a, a horse to the water, but you can't force that horse to drink that water. People have to want to run and move forward for themselves. And at the same time, you cannot babysit everyone either. You give people the tools and they have to then use those tools to move forward. But you know what you can do? You can take control of your destiny and your success and keep moving forward and keep running forward. For those of you who are like, you know what, I'm not ready to run. Okay, take baby steps. But just make sure that you are taking a step every day that leads you in the right direction and not in the wrong one. You do not deserve any type of foolishness or foolery for God wants us to be all that we can be, who we are truly destined to be. You don't need to be sitting around waiting on everybody else. Oh, but the squad, the squad, the squad. Is the squad looking out for you like that? I just want to know. If you have some woes that you can call on and they're going to come to your rescue when you need it in your time of need and they also are trying to elevate then let's go let's get it and if not some people you just gotta leave behind period are you trying to move forward or are you going backwards some people do not deserve i've said it before and i know i stress this because it's so important people do not always need your 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 time especially if they are not utilizing the time to try to better themselves. And guess what? None of us, none of us are perfect. Nobody is perfect. I've said that before as well. But are you at least making the steps? Because if, if you give something time every day, then it's going to work out the way that you want it to work out. Trust me. Trust me. And I've spoken. I, it, it's literally it sets the, the, the tone, the pace, the trajectory of what is to come. The trajectory of your life is based upon this one thing, consistency and just to keep going. How are you going to reach the pot of gold that's at the end of the tunnel if you are stuck in the past? One thing that really grinds my gears, grinds my gears, grinds my gears, but I understand that people are human and that you cannot, literally, like I said before, you cannot force anybody to do what they don't want to do or you cannot people always don't see in themselves what you see in them they don't see their potential i hate to see people who i deem as truly intelligent and beautiful and talented going places with someone or people who you know ain't no good for them. And not coming from a judgmental perspective, but from what it is that they've told you and just from what you see and what your spirit tells you. You know how your spirit just can't take some people? 
I've said it before, but it's not for just no reason. It's for a reason. Okay. That is your subconscious. That is God. That is your conscience telling you, uh, 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 something ain't right here. You have to trust that. And I hate when there are literally red flags, crimson flags, and people are like, oh, but, oh, but I'm talking about beautiful, beautiful, talented, glowing people wasting their time on people who are not glowing, not growing and filled with dust. We, we cannot. We cannot going into 2023 be on that. No. Love yourself. Love yourself. And I'm not speaking in the fact of being arrogant. Not at all. But move with confidence. Run in that direction. Run in the direction of telling yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy and you are that person, that chick, okay? That dude. Tell yourself that. Don't be stuck on the foolishness and don't be running back to what no longer serves you. So I ask again, why are you running? And who are you running to? Make sure that the reason that you are running in the direction that you're running is for your betterment. And for those, of course, who depend on you, who you are trying to uplift as well. But don't forget yourself in the process. And I think too many times people neglect that. Too many times people try to, you know, not, not pay attention to those red flags. You can tell what somebody wants from you, usually, quite quickly, I think. I think that sometimes we just dismiss those feelings because we like, nah, nah, you know? So, so tap into that. What is the reason that you are running back to someone who has literally disrespected you, called you out of your name, harmed you? Could be even physical harm, mental harm, anything like that. Why are you running back to that person? Why do you not feel that you are worthy? Most of the time it's because that person has made you feel that you are not worthy, but you so are. You so are. A lot of times they know what God has in store for you. They see your purpose and they don't want you to leave them behind. I don't know who this message is for today, but somebody out there has been made to feel like they are no longer worthy don't know what's going on and they don't even you know tomorrow what is it going to bring if they even want to see tomorrow let me just say this you are beautiful you are loved and you have to believe that please believe that please know that whatever brings you joy do that as long as you are not harming another you are fine keep moving forward Keep taking baby steps. What God has for you, it is for you. Do not let anybody steal your joy. Don't steal anybody else's joy. And make sure that you are running forward and not backward. If you are not already a part of the squad, I ask that you, if you feel so inclined, please do join the squad. Again, we talk about motivational things just what is on my heart these days as far as my business as well i do have a small business modesty lavish tap 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 in www.modestylavishstore.com where you can find things for both men and women for your for everything for your mind body and soul to be quite honest with you that's that's the aim for this channel and i'm just going to be doing things a little, little bit differently and switching things up, you all will see, but I will still be bringing y'all, you know, hopefully a smile to your face and, and, and some joy and whatnot into your life. I've tapped into a way to basically keep acne at bay, I feel, and when it does come, nip it in the bud. And so I'll be sharing all of that with you all as well. Like I said, I have Kojic Acid products on my site always include a free gift or gifts with your purchase. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will be back very, very soon with much more. All right. Thanks for tuning in and I'll holla. Peace.
Thank you.